Welcome back to Keeping It Real with Katrina K. All right, y'all. As y'all can see, it's raining a fucking again. Man, they say it was supposed to be clear Friday. Well, guess what? Today is Friday. And is it clear? Hell to the Nizal. It is not clear, deal. <laughs> the media. All the media writers just need to be fired. But anyway, it's 6.30 in the morning. We have a reservation to pick up somebody from downtown. Take them to the airport at 8 o'clock. But right now, we just got an alert to go pick up a passenger that's like nine minutes away. So I'm about to go pick them up right now and drop their ass off wherever they're gonna go. But anyway, I'll see y'all later. Hopefully it won't get too bad out here because I'm gonna take my ass on. Oh, I'm eating some gummy bears. That's a child here crackling in the background and down here. But anyway, all right, y'all. All right, friends, we just dropped our uh, reservation off over here at the Intercontinental Airport. It ended up totaling out at uh, but the ride was like for $23, $24 then they gave me a $5 tip. So we ended up earning like $28, $29 off of that trip. And right now we're getting ready to go pick up another passenger over here in Terminal C and take their ass wherever we finna take them. But yeah, that's some more money. <laughs> Anyway, let me go get this passenger, y'all. Let me get this passenger. It's still raining, but it ain't raining as hard. But it's raining like a motherfucker. And I'm gonna see y'all a little bit. I see y'all. Friends, we just dropped our passengers that we picked up from um, Intercontinental. We just dropped them off over here at the Starbucks. And Uber East just sent me an order to go to another Starbucks that's like two minutes away over here by Lakewood Church to um, pick up a five dollar order and that's gonna put us at like 68 to 69 dollars and right now it is 9 30 in the morning so yes baby we doing good we doing good in these streets but anyway let me go get this money i'm gonna see you motherfuckers later. all right friends we at snap kitchen over here um by greenway plaza we're about to pick up a order for a customer i think it's paying five dollars and some change for uber east customer we're gonna drop this shit off and then i just accepted a uh or order for Instacart. I was trying to get this forwarded out of order, picking up 17 items from Costco, but I missed out on that one. So I got a $20.60 order going to Restaurant Depot off of Bissonette, picking up five items for a customer. So, shit, that's a win right there. So we getting this money now. It ain't number $9.59. And that order going to put us at $100 when I go pick it up. So let me get out and get this money, y'all. Y'all sleep on this money, but I ain't. It's raining. I'm out here getting and getting it. I ain't scared to get wet. <laughs> All right, All right, friends. I just picked up a package over here, a box out of the back of somebody's truck. Hope there ain't no drugs in this motherfucker. I got to go drop it off. It's 24 minutes away, so let me go drop it off. They use an Uber to do it, so let me go drop this off, y'all, so I can get paid. I'll see All right, later. friends, we just dropped that package off. They came to the trunk and got that motherfucker out and kept it moving. That uh, that delivery for uh, Uber paid um almost sixteen dollars. Now I'm getting ready to come go pick up a passenger out here in Rosenberg. She's like maybe two, three minutes away, so I'm about to pick her ass up real quick. And it's still raining like a motherfucker. I'm going to see y'all motherfuckers later. My customer just dropped off her little $4 uh, ride, turned to a $14 and some change ride. She ain't go that far. She gave me a $10 tip. She was cool. She from uh, Savannah, Georgia. But anyway, let me pick my next customer up. I think I'm going wrong. Right we are at 12360, friends. We're at 12360, so we doing good. And it's only 1238 in the afternoon. All right, I think I turn here, y'all. Friends, we may be getting ready to take it in. It's one o'clock, and like I say, we had a hundred and I think we had a hundred and about twenty-five, twenty-six dollars now because we did a, a quick little Walmart run for a customer. She stayed two minutes away from Walmart, but it's raining so goddamn bad. I hear these streets so flooded right now. Oh my god! And I'm way down here in Rosenberg. I was like fifty minutes away from the house, but now I'm a little closer. So yeah, we're gonna take it in. Talk to y'all a little bit. Friends, I just dropped off my customer that I just picked up. He's the manager over here at CarMax, and he just gave me a ten dollar tip. And then he said he's gonna also tip me on the app as well. But so far, his trip was eighteen dollars and some change. So I haven't seen the app tip. Maybe he already did it. I don't know. But 
Thank you. Oh, there you go. Send me another passenger to go pick up from H E B. Hopefully, they don't have no groceries. Cause guess what? I would help, but it's raining too hard. I'm not finna help do shit. I'm finna sit in this car and look cute. All right, child. <laughs> so right now, friends, we are probably at like I think 155 right now with our cash tips included, and it's 142. I'm trying to get to $200, but I don't know. I said I was going to go home because it's raining this motherfucking traffic, but we probably still go home and just call it a day with this 150 somewhere. I'm getting ready to go pick up a pass, I don't know where the hell they finna go. We'll see. All right, y'all. At 155, finna jump up. Hey, friends, he did send me a tip on the app, so I end up making, uh, he ended up giving me a $20 tip. <laughs> so I end up earning $23 basically on that, uh, on dropping his ass off at CarMax. Yes, baby. Oh, I just picked this little Asian lady up over here at this. Hold on, let me but see. Yeah, I just picked this little Asian lady up. She was telling me that this her second day down here. They just moved down here from San Antonio and she had a wreck yesterday. She said the kids all right. She didn't have no car seat for her son. He only like maybe one years old. And she said she got in trouble for that. I said, I know you did. So yeah, you gotta have car seat sound. It's only going two or three minutes down the road, baby. It don't matter. You still gotta have a car seat, boo boo. So I told her, welcome to Houston. She's like, yeah, welcome. <laughs> but anyway, let me see where the hell I'm going, y'all. Child, I'm trying to get to this apartment complex, but I'm lost. So I'm finna have to loop around this West Grand Parkway and try to find this motherfucker. Uh -huh. And my little Asian friend, I was just telling you about that. I told Walker Hughes, she just sent me a five dollar tip. Her little three dollar and some trip turned into a uh, eight dollar, almost nine dollar tip. I think a uh, trip. It turned into like eight ninety one. So let's see if we can find this goddamn man. All right, friends, we're about to get ready to take it in. We came way back back out here in Rosenberg. Bird, that baby I just picked up work at this Frito-Lay out here in Rosenberg, so, yes. But it paid like $19. Maybe he gonna send a tip, I don't know. He had to be at work before three o'clock, and your girl got him now by three, four minutes early, so he was happy. He was like, oh, thank you, because we were stuck in traffic on the freeway. I say, fuck this, we finna exit off this motherfucker. We gonna take an alternate route. So you ready? Let's go. So I found the ultimate right and he was so happy because we would have still been sitting on that freeway and he would have got wrote his ass. He would have got wrote the fuck up. Yeah, because they get right up in Frito Lay. They don't care if it's right and outside. They don't get you no know, grace period, no nothing. So yeah, I got him there and he was grateful for that. I told him, make sure you screenshot me, baby. I'm gonna get some cards made so he can make reservations. If you need me again, make a reservation with your girl. I got you. I'm gonna come get you. I got you. Yes, make a reservation for me. I got you, boo boo. I'm gonna get you there. Cause his mask, he forgot it in the house. Cause some of these drivers ain't gonna let you ride without no mask. They gonna put your ass right on that and still take your money. But I'm not like that. I'm not like that. Cause I wouldn't want nobody to do me like that. But anyway, I just came on here to fuck with y'all. So that money that we just earned right now, I think it put us ten dollars away from our maximum goal of two hundred dollars. So. I might say fuck that two hundred dollars and uh, I don't take it in until in the morning, cause baby it's still raining. The bitch ain't got time to be out here in this rain like this. Hell to the next hour. Oh my god. But uh, yeah, I ain't got time to be out here in this rain like that. Anyway, let me see how far am I away from the damn house? I'm fifty two minutes away from the house. I'm out here deep, and like I said, it's three o'clock. Traffic, wrecks, every damn thing. So. Yeah, he say crash on my route. <laughs> All right, y'all, let me get up off here. I'll see y'all in a little bit. I just accepted a $12 order. It's $12 and some change going to Total Wine right here by my house. And I'm right here by my house right now. So we're finna go to this Total Wine and get this $12 real quick. And I was looking at the drop-off location. It's not even that far from where I'm picking up. So it works out. So that's gonna put us a little bit over our $200 maximum goal so yeah we did it and right now it's 337 so we did it child we did it we did it we did it but yeah we just making it back over here from rosenberg baby finally back to civilization shit but anyway i'm gonna see y'all see y'all i got to tell y'all these bags that total wine the order already been pulled it's the instacart order already been ready it's pulled and ready to go so all i gotta do is go in there and show them my 
stuff, I guess, and get their order. Cause baby, yes, we ain't gotta do no shopping. Pick it up and go. I'm timing the customer house. See how far they stay from from this total wine. It look like they only stay less than 10 minutes away from uh, where I'm finna pick up from. So, oh y'all it fail. So good deal, good deal. So. Anyway, we have most stuff. We have most stuff. And like I said, it's gonna put us a little bit over two hundred dollars, and we're gonna take it in. And it's just three forty-six right now. Three forty-six. So y'all yeah, feel down again. All right, I see y'all, my folks. All right, y'all. I dropped that order off that I picked up from Total Wine that was ready for us, and yeah, we headed home. It's four four ten, I think. But um, yeah, we headed home and we hit our goal. We end up earning two hundred and two dollars and some change. So we made it. We made it. We made it. Yes. Yeah, so yeah, we finna get home and y'all can. This traffic finna start up because it's four four fifteen. So you know traffic getting ready to start up, baby. I'm finna miss all of that and I made a little bit over two hundred dollars today. So I'm good. I'll be back out here. First thing in the morning, try to get me some airport runs because that's where the money is. Hopefully, they'll send me a reservation later and I'm going to book it so I can uh, have some money to look forward to when I wake up. But anyway, all right, y'all. On that note, we're going to go on in this shit. And I want to thank you all for watching Keeping It Real with Katrina K. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, friends. Comment down below. Turn on your notification bells for new videos. I need everybody to stay safe and stay blessed in this world. Till next time, friends. I'm out this motherfucking joint.